Hello everyone, Lewis K has spent his career studying what makes humans tick deep down inside. His research focuses on improving NMR spectroscopy, a technology used to capture images of proteins within human cells. Thanks to Lewis's innovations, we're taking pictures of larger, more complex proteins than ever before, and actually watching them in motion, seeing how they change and interact with one another over time. We are learning how diseases begin and develop and finding clues for treating conditions like cancer and Alzheimer's. In recognition of his outstanding contributions to science and discovery, Lewis's peers have awarded him the 2018 Ensuk Hertzberg Gold Medal, Canada's highest honor for science and engineering. I sat down with Lewis at the University of Toronto to discuss his career, his influences, and his advice for young scientists. Lewis, you're working at the, the cutting edge of a very technical field. So how do you describe your research to somebody you've just met? We study the molecules of life, that a living cell is made up of very important molecules that carry out particular functions. They interact with other molecules, much the way that human beings interact with each other. And what we want to do is to understand the mechanism by which that occurs, trying to understand how these molecules are able to carry out their, their function. It's really quite amazing, sort of fundamental problems in chemistry and physics that have very significant implications in life sciences. What can we learn? by watching how proteins move and change with time. We can learn about how these molecules actually work because they're changing their shapes. They're changing their shapes sometimes in a prescribed way which imparts a directed function. What happens when they assume a shape that is very rare even for them? Often that's where the interesting functionality occurs. But if we can design a molecule which can restore the dynamics or if we can manipulate the dynamics in some other way, then we can Presumably, the hope would be also change outcomes for, uh, in, in various disease situations. What put you on the path to a career in science? I spent a year uh, when I was eight years old in Israel. My father did a sabbatical at the Weizmann Institute. The mathematics in Israel was at a higher level than it was in uh, Canada. And I realized that I was good at it. I remember getting an 85 on one of the exams and being quite proud of myself only to be told by the teacher that I could do better. And I think it was that encouragement uh, that uh, pushed me into uh, uh, wanting to excel in mathematics and ultimately uh, into the general direction of science. A, a whole generation of young Canadians is just starting to discover science, technology, engineering and mathematics. What advice do you have for them, and maybe for their parents and teachers? I think for a lot of students, the problem is that science circa 2000 and 20 is taught the same way as it was in 1965 and 1970. We've got to change that. There's wonderful opportunities, there's dedicated teachers, but we have to change the curriculum. What qualities do you think are most important for young researchers to learn and to develop these days? Really their creativity. I mean, it's great to have experience in A, B, C or D, but the fact of the matter is that tomorrow science will basically require one to be creative because it's all about basically throwing out yesterday's ideas and uh, modifying them uh, to be able to solve tomorrow's problems. Lewis, what are your plans for the future? I'm going to just allow the science to push me in whatever direction, whatever direction it takes me, knowing that uh, with the kind of caliber of individuals that I can attract to my laboratory at the University of Toronto, with the support of my colleagues in the administration at the University of Toronto and the Hospital for Sick Children, which I'm also a member, and with the uh, infrastructure that I've been uh, fortunate to get through the generosity of the Government of Canada, we're going to continue to do what we do best, which is just to just listen to what the molecules are trying to tell us. Listen to the molecules. Lewis, it has been a pleasure to talk with you today. On behalf of ANSWER and Canada's science community, I congratulate you on being named the winner of the 2018 Ensor Hertzberg Gold Medal. Felicitaciones. Thank you so very, very much. Mm -hmm.